Hi everybody, back again with another project share for you today. I have got a jumbo jigsaw piece that I have altered and this is going to be my design team piece for that craft place challenge blog. I'll leave all the links below. The theme for this fortnight is buttons. So for this piece what I have done is I took the jumbo jigsaw piece and I covered it in some structure gel. I let it dry and then I went over it all with my alcohol inks and you can see the shimmer. It's a lovely, lovely tone that it's put in the background here on the jigsaw piece. And uh, I just like when I was putting it on I stippled it with a, um, I can't even think what they're called now. A spatula, that's it, yeah. I just stippled it so that it would lift up into peaks and it gave it a nice texture in the background and then the alcohol inks on it then with the, um, I think it was an ocean colour I used and the silver. It just gave it this lovely, lovely pearlescent look and it, is, it really is pretty when it's finished. So then on top of that I have a book of quotes and from it I cut this one out and it's nothing but heaven itself is better than a friend who is, a re who is really a friend and there's nothing truer than that. So what I did with that is I edged this up in some um, dun dun dun, what one did I use? Weatherwood around the edges and then I just painted it on some Mod Podge and it just gives it a lovely sheen and it seals it. I made a couple of these now and um, it just and it lets it sit up in this kind of bump that I like them to sit in across there. It's just hot glued down then and set in place. Then from that craft place shop I got my design team package and in it were some of these charms and things so I decided to use a couple of these on this project. So this one is like a necklace piece and I just turned it the other way around and I've inserted the vintage photograph lady here that I got from Trisha and my winnings from Trisha so I cut that out and I put that in and instead of having it like normally you would have it hanging that way around I turned it upside down <clears throat> glossy accent that this in obviously and then I hung this heart with wings charm from it which I thought was just a bit different um, to do that so I did that on this one. Oh, everything's moving here. So it just hangs from there nicely and <coughs> here I've got a little organza flower that's in the back and then there's two buttons that I've um, put together here down this corner and buttons up the top here as well in the purple and the blue just to tone in with the colours that's on here. <coughs> this is a little applique butterfly that came in my package from Trisha as well and it just fits in lovely, I like the colour and these are just lovely to work, they're so soft. Then what I did was I had one of these, now what do you call these? It's like a filigree piece but it started as a cone shape and I just opened it up and I created like a bouquet of flowers that's coming out of this filigree piece and attached them in there and it's just it's got also sorry everything's sticking here in the background here it's got these gold leaves that are available in Lisa's shop as well <coughs> and I just put a little bit of um, this is brown trim that I got as well in my design team package that is popping out in the bottom here um, and these are all just little flowers from my stash and I added in this little bow here with a satin a rose in the centre. So that is how I created this piece and I also just hung some um, oh, just twine from the top down at front so it's still got a rustic kind of look. So this is what I have created. Um, I hope you like it. I was quite pleased how it turned out and um, like I said I will leave all the links below to the challenge blog and to the shop, all the links that you need to see. But I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye!